Hello everybody, welcome to more. Let's play Super Mario Galaxy 2. Wah. I am Hunter, the one who was there fair and a polar bear. And in the last part we did approximately four stars. What three of them were the secret stars in Hightail, Plaza Plank, and Fluffy Bluff, and one of them was the first mission in Cosmic Cove. So in this part we're actually gonna do the secret star of Cosmic Cove. So I'll meet you with the 20 coins I said I was gonna get in the last part. Go! This will be a short one, just to let you know. Alright, told you I'll meet you here. I actually have 17 coins because it's not actually 20 coins, it's 15 coins. I'm so hungry, will you give me 15 coins? They taste so good if I eat 15 on my transform! Alright, and automatic force feeding! Obesity! That's the stuff I'm so far wild they're getting a transform! And he magically transformed the photo with a little bit of storm to some 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 self into another planet with holes in it. I don't like where this is going. I really don't like where this is going. Oh God, Bunny! All right, so before you actually start talking to this bunny, you might want to hit the switch because it turns all the water into ice, making this bunny impeccably easy to catch. Want to see what I mean? Should I? Yeah, why not? Think you can catch me? I'd like to see you try it, boing. Alright, when I start, and press A, and when he runs, and I can move again, I'm gonna prepare the timer up in the top left corner, and you will see how long it takes me to catch the bunny with the eyes. Alright? Ready for this? See? See? Now, wasn't that quick? Okay, okay, you got me. Here, take the star, boing, boing! See? Remember how annoyingly difficult that was in Galaxy 1? And now look how easy it is in Galaxy 2. Impeccably easy. You got a power star thanks to the power of the cold. Alright, back in Cosmic Cove again for a new mission, exploring the Cosmic Cavern. Let us go. Alright, now as you can see, this one involves a little more swimming sans the shell. Which means we also get to do some outer spacey stuff too. And I think I see a little bit of a Saturnus planet over there. Yes. And get me out of here! It's a limit trapped. Alright, Mr. Penguin, I know your tricks. Why did you trap that poor innocent limo? Whoa, okay, I won't mess with you. You just got really mad at me, sir. Don't don't eat me. This little guy's trapped in there, so everyone is out looking for the key. Find the key! Yeah. Alright, we'll find the key. I suppose. Ooh, look, Starbit! Grab, 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 grab. My remote's just doing that because I'm kind of a little bit close to the TV as my computer is right beside my TV. So, we, it's easier to do recording and stuff. Yes, that's why. Anyway, so let's go down this pipe, because we can't go past the waterfall, because we froze it and destroyed all the animals. We can slide at these little hill and get some story bits. And now we can swim. And he'll tell us, swim fast with A. With that, Mario kicks his feet and moves faster like not Pokey, because that's underwater. And Pokies cannot swim. Because they do not have arms! Or the ability to float! At all! Alright, let's jump out of this plant, grab the checkpoint, and there is nothing really of importance under here, so we'll just... Jump up, do an epic spin jump, and dive! Now I think there's just a single solitary cone over there, so yep, let's just ignore it. Because it's of no legal importance to us. And just another point of there, but we will most likely not run out of air because we are too good at this game. Also, the first part of the game is really easy. Now, a lot of people were kind of commenting on the fact how I said all Mario games are easy. Well, taking Sunshine into account and the fact that later in this game it actually gets kind of difficult. I probably shouldn't have said that, but for the most part, the beginning parts of every Mario game are extremely easy. Especially the original ones, because everybody can get through World 1 easy, but once they got to World 2, they were screwed! Just saying. Anyway, so now we get these... ...octopus things. Righto. 
And there's a one up there that we can get if we have enough guts to get it, but I don't think I want to, and I don't know what that thing is doing. So let's just pass it by, turn around, go down slightly, turn back up, and grab it. There we go. Alright, I think for this one we're going to have to do a little bit of maneuvering. Start getting hit. Yeah, there we go. Jump up, jump up. And we hit the poor Goomba and kill him. And how did you get up here? I don't understand. All right, now for these ones, the blocks of water won't travel with you, so you gotta move the weird, the you gotta move Mario as your as the yeah. You gotta move Mario as the blocks of water are moving, so you do not fall out of the block of water and into a wormhole or a black hole or whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Wormhole sounds cooler. Now let's jump up and. Uh, See if we can't do anything about it. Ah! Alright, we're safe. So, there we go. And now let's collect this Luma sh shape thing made out of star bits. Collect, 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 collect. Back a little bit so I can actually get these star bits. Come on. I want all of them. All of the dang things. Alright, now to the pipe. And the Loma that has been free, we can now use for our personal slavery. Yay, abuse. Woo, thanks. It was much more human than, than, than you think. Uh, wait, how could you even breathe? There was no holes or anything for you to breathe. Do, do lungs even have lungs? Why am I questioning this? Anyways, checkpoint. Thing go launch. All right. Now, once you get on this planet, there is one very important thing you must know: the spindrel can kill these guys even if they are electrified. I'll try to find one that is electrified to prove that theory. As you can see, that see, told you. All right. Now, once you get on this planet, what you gotta do is spin into the middle of this one, and you'll pop up the other side. Just like that. Easy, I what? So now we gotta drill into these guys to find out which one has the key. Unlocking that little cage. There we are. And now that we unlock the cage, as shown above, mm -hmm. yes, quite, we shall drill into the king and flood the planet. Now it looks like some kind of deformed Pokeball thing. I'm ready for that. Alright, so now let's swim up and up and up and up and up and up. We got a power star by doing more environmental damage. All right, I think we have one more star we're gonna do in this video, and then we're gonna call it quits for now. And that is in Wild Glide. But first, I think Lumba has another thing to show us involving a penguin, right? Hmm, so the penguin is aboard the spaceship. And he's staring right at us. I wonder why to keep that one rating either. He looks kind of creepy. Hmm. Yeah, as you can see, some of the times I've cut to get to another star, new visitors have appeared on this planet. And I should probably talk to you, shouldn't I? Um, is it from Peach? Oh, it's Honeybee! Wow, even we couldn't get the star in Honey Bloom Galaxy. Here's a reward for your bravery. Please accept this one up. Isn't that nice? There was one of us who attached the letter. Collect. Thank you. All right. Bonk. And now we shall head to Wild Glide for some Wild Gliding. Ying. Yes, that stuff. All right. Now this is admittedly one of the more, in my opinion, buggy mechanics of the game. Because it's not a lot. Plus its first flight. Actually, I think this is the only thing I really have big to complain about the game, is this mechanic. Now, as you remember from Galaxy 1, the big quote-unquote racing thing was the Manta Ray. In this one, it is the Fluzzard, a Technicolor... Yes! The... Buzzard, whose name is Fluzzard, and you fly. So it's exactly like the Manta Ray. Fluzzard, Fluzzard, he can't fly so well, and he's shy, so shy! I can't even speak right today, my tongue's all tied up. So, 
but he seems okay with you. Maybe he'll even carry you and glide. Come on, come on, I'll teach you to glide when you fly and floods with you. Yes, I will! Alright, glide, we glide! Alright, okay, here's how you glide. Hold the Wii Remote straight up. You actually have to hold it straight forward. Yeah, that's like the starting position. Turn from left, you tilt to the left. And the same thing if you want to turn to the right. And you can also do a dive if you... That's not a gentle nose dive. <laughs> He's like going 90 degrees downwards. If you collect the big sun circle, <clears throat> shines bright, at the end of the forest, you win! Win! But it won't be easy! As you can see there, there's also a common medal. Guess what we gotta do, kitties? Yes. As you said then done, what we gotta do is not only get to the end of the race, or the level, we also gotta five, fly through these five gates, positioned throughout the level, that will unlock the cage with the common medal in it, and therefore we can collect it. In this galaxy, it's easy to the dumb, but there's another galaxy that uses this mechanic, and it is a jerk to get all of these gates. A sincere and honest jerk. Whoa! It Tiff the wise, don't drown. Tiny bag there. Ah oh yes, where was I? Ah oh yeah, don't drown. So let's go through this middle one and get the one up if you can. Which we did. That's all for that. Don't hit the vines because they're actually solid and they will hurt you if you touch them. Alright, let's see if we can get this one. Come on, come on. Ooh, 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 yeah, 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 don't do that. Uh, watch out. Okay, let's see if we can get this one that's growing up. I don't want to die, thank you, sir. Let us not hit the walls. But then we'll fall if we do. Don't hit the walls. Stupid fool! Alright. Come on. Ah, poopy. Well, you know where the common metal is, I'll just go grab it off screen. Yeah, that. Alright. You flew, you flew, even Fluzzard looks happy, happy! Here, take this star, nice flying! Alright. Da da! Alright. So, with that, let's grab the star with one. Lover of Half Life. Ouch! You got a power star with a giant talk, King Bird, even though it doesn't really talk. Alright, and I think that's going to do it for this episode. So, next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2, we will be going to. I think. Boulder Ball. Yeah, we'll be going to Bowler Ball. And then we'll be doing Bowser Stage. So, until then, see you later and goodbye.